that inside row when the green comes out keep your eye on it the white flag out right now from starter Bill Merkling I don't mean to not pay attention to the outside row you got Brian Ross giving the 12 of Brett Bodine in row four picking up the pace off the corner here's the green down the front shoot it's Tomato getting out in front Jamie Tomato gets the bite off the corner away Richie Evans tries to get underneath Brian Ross but Ross Runs him on the outside. It's Jamie Tomano out in front. Brian Ross running second. Evans sets back in third. Reggie Rogerio running fourth on the outside. Gary Ewell is fifth. Tony Hirschman now down low trying to take the number five spot away. Doug Hewitt goes to look low, but Greg Sachs is right there. Now you got Ross going to work on the old on it. Jamie Tomano. Jimmy McGraw way wide up there between three and four. Gets it back down in the racing groove. Oh nine, Jamie Tomato, Hewitt out of shape down here in turn two. He lost a lot of spots, falls back into line. Here's Brian Ross to the outside of Jamie Tomato. Brian Ross running hard in the high groove, and that gives Richie Evans room underneath. Reggie Rogerio still right down the front straightaway, completing lap number four, and the yellow flag comes out. Wow, scars in Rotunda, one of the cars involved over there. We'll give you a check on the other one just as soon as we can. Several cars in the back of the field coming together. Rotunda doing a long slide. That pace, now he gets on it. There's the green. They stay right in line. Coming off the corner. Tomato got a good jump there. Richie Evans looks low underneath. Brian Ross, but no room. Ross side by side down the back straightaway into three. And Ross out pulls him in the corner. Brian drifts a little bit high though. Now down the front shoot. Brian Ross on the outside, Richie Evans down low, and Ross trying to slam the door shut, but Richie keeps the nose right up in there. Brian Ross running second, Richie Evans third, down into turn three, and now finally Ross gets the door shut, but he drifts high in the corner. Your leader, Jamie Tomato, running 19 seconds flat as he completes lap number five, that last lap at 18-8. Brian Ross in the number two spot, rides the outside of Richie Evans. Running seventh, Brett Bodine is still there in the number eight spot. Now Evans gets by Ross, and Reggie Ruggiero tries to fill the hole underneath, but Ross slams the door on him, coming off turn two. Brian Ross loses second to Richie Evans, 18-67, and he comes back with an 18-8. Jamie to Montgomery bobbled just a little bit and Jamie Tomato lost about half his lead but he now gets by Evans right Don Pratt down the front straight away he brushed wheels with Jim Alborn Pratt and Alborn brushing wheels coming into one Edwards slow pace again now the green is out let's see up on the outside wall Hamelino tried to go but somebody cut him off Mike McLaughlin also went to the outside back at the rear of the field Jamie Tomato set a real slow pace on that restart. He's got Rich Jamie Tomato out of Neptune, New Jersey in that number one spot. Tomato setting the pace in the 09. Richie I. The yellow comes out. Jump that time. Couple of cars trying their luck on the outside, including the 52 of Hewitt as he works up Gee Evans. Evans hanging on to the number two spot with Brian Ross starting on the pole running. Evans gets a wheel underneath but has to back out. Jamie Tomato drifted high down in turn three and he goes high again in one. Tomato was pushing a little bit earlier tonight and the car starting to push again apparently as he drifted high down here in the corner and Evans got a wheel underneath. Here's Brian Ross back to the outside. Brian Ross back to the outside and Reggie Ruggiero to the outside trying to fill the hole underneath now in turn one he's got Brian Ross on the outside Ruggiero down low Tony Hirschman and whoa car number five is six the green flag back out this time Tomato got a good jump as Richie got caught sleeping that time and Evans loses about five car bumper tag with a 61 of Richie Evans Ross running third right behind Evans as they it's now he's got a wheel underneath Tomato Richie Evans under Tomato going into three and he's through there Evans takes the lead away from the 09 and look at Brian Ross Brian Ross is through Ross takes over second and once again Tomato finds himself running third 
Reggie Rogerio is right there fourth, and Tony Hirschman and Greg Sachs right behind. Richie Evans, though, the BR to win. Number 61 is out in front with 17 laps in the record book. Cars running bumper to bumper. Nobody taking a chance on getting out of line because they know the freight train is right behind. Richie Evans, the race leader. Brian Ross running second. Jamie Tomato right now is third. Tomato running third with Reggie Ruggiero fourth. Just about a car length separating all of the front six cars. Now Boda 78 of Dave Mashuga as the leader straight train by him on the outside. Bodine contaminating three of Brian Ross in the 09 of Jamie Tomato with this race down. In the number three spot. Red Ruggiero, the Danny's Market, 44 in fourth. And I'll tell you, they ain't the crazy eight of Magic Shoes. Mike McLaughlin has run a great race here. He is up there in 10th spot. Everybody working hard at this one. Evans out in front. Brian Ross running a great race in the number two spot. Tomato right there third. Ruggiero falling off the pace now. Reggie. And a jam up over there in the fourth corner. As other cars now come into the melee. Yeah. 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 Flag, flag, flag. flag is out there in a hurry. And they're back underway. Richie Evans, the Rapid Roman. And look at Tomato. Tomato trying to get a wheel down underneath. Brian Ross couldn't do it. Reggie Ruggiero, fourth turn down the front straightaway. Evans in the lead. Richie Evans, high compression, small block engine, cutting the job, turning within about a second of the... Behind Tony, Greg Sachs and Brett Bodine. Then just a little break in the action. The 88 out in front of Jamie Tomato. 35 laps down. Tires could play an important part in this race. As the heat out there has been tremendous all night long. Richie Evans of Rapid Roman in the lead. Brian Ross in second. Tomato third. Reggie Ruggiero in fourth. Hirschman, Tony in the number five spot. Greg Sachs right there, six. Well, so far, pretty much according to the book. Except for Brian Ross. And Brian been running strong. Richie Evans, tough to beat. And Richie, a good runner in traffic. Brian Ross has raced with him for many years, and he stays right on his back bumper. Jamie Tomano still in that number three spot. Ruggiero back there fourth. Nobody able to make a clear move on the leaders. Evans and Brian Ross in lap number four. Tony Hirschman. Still holding that number five spot. Sachs trying to sneak up in there using the lap car, but can't do it. 40 laps down is the 99 of Crepe with McGraw's 49. Richie Evans, Bryant still working hard as they come up through lap traffic. Richie Evans trying to clear that traffic. The 11 of Jim Alborn and Evans now has a clear track ahead, but Brian Ross stays right with him. Brian right on his back bumper, a relatively clear track ahead. Tomato still holds third, Red Ruggiero in the number four spot. Coming around the lap traffic, the cars in the back of the pack. And now Mike McLaughlin is running a very strong race after winning the Conte. 46 laps in the book. And Richie Evans hangs on to the lead. Keep your eyes on Brian Ross. Brian closing up. 
in the corners, in between the turns. They're coming up on some slower cars once again. Brian Ross riding a good big sack. Coming up to complete 50 laps, two thirds of this race. And another lap of 18.6 for Richie Evans. All right, here to take you the rest of the way home is Roy Soba. All right, Jack, and Rich five with 23 laps remaining. Richie Evans, Brian Ross running one, two. It looks like now you're going to have a battle momentarily between to the number five. Sachs, though, hangs on tough in the Ernie Willsburg ruling electric machine. Richie Evans, the BR to win, rapid roaming out in front. 54 laps, he's running still 18-7. Brian Ross right now is just seven tenths of a second behind the leader, but he had run the majority of the race, tucked bumper to bumper. He has fallen off just a little bit and can't seem to pick up the ground. Meanwhile, way off the pace, nearly a straightaway behind in third, the United Jamie Tomeno. And all of a sudden, look at this battle for third. Tomeno, Ruggiero, Sachs, and Bodine. They are right together, and that's the battle in Richie Evans. Evans out in front, still running that lap at 18.66. Seven tenths of a second behind, it is still Brian Ross. The battle for third. You got Jamie Tomato down low. Here's Ruggiero going to the outside. Sachs fills the hole low. Bodine looks high. So they come four together down the front straightaway. Tomato, Ruggiero on the outside. Sachs and Bodine. Sachs now tucks it up underneath Reggie. Down the back straightaway and Greg Sachs. Underneath looking for fourth. Evans and Brian Ross. Still seven tenths of a second behind. Tomato wide in the corner. He takes Reggie way out and Sachs gets underneath. So Tomato let loose in the corner, drifted way wide and took the other fellas out with him. But it was the 44 of Reggie Ruggiero, and it's still the 61 of Richie Evans. Evans, the race leader, with Brian Ross running in the number two spot. Greg Sachs in the number four links behind Evans. Evans out in front, but Brian Ross trying to get back on it, making it up to fight the battle with him for the win. Passing flag is out again for Jim Alborn and Eddie Bellinger, Jim McGraw, and Don Pratt. As Greg Sachs running in third, Brett Bodine four in front. Evans, 18-61, the leader. Bodine now with heavy traffic ahead, trying to Don Pratt. He ducks low down there in the corner. Evans, another lap of 18-6. Passing flag for Pratt. Bodine moves to the outside of Don Pratt as Reggie Ruggiero tries to challenge Jamie Tomato. A battle going on still for the fifth spot, but it's out. And the 44, Reggie Ruggiero running sixth in the last 10 laps. Richie gets it down to 18.59. Here's turn one. That's the way they're running. Traffic ahead. Richie Evans, 18.55, and he cannot shake Brian Ross. They've got slower cars ahead but not that much slower. Those cars are battling for a top 10 spot. See what happens when they come up on them. You've got the 52 of Doug Hewitt, the 48 of Wayne Edwards. Richie Evans goes to the outside. Brian Ross looks for a hole somewhere with him. They both go to the outside. Evans is by both and Ross follows him right through the high groove. They're running bumper to bumper now with a half dozen laps to go. Richie Evans and Brian Ross. Evans out in front, Ross running second, 1878. They've got nearly a half lap. Out in front, Richie Evans in the 61, the 73. Brian Ross running second. In third, the five of Greg Sachs. Fourth, the 12 of Brett Bodine. Fifth pace, but has been unable to shake Brian Ross. He's got the lead back up to about three tenths of a second. Three car lengths over Brian Ross. But Brian hanging tough with them as they come down now. Two to go. Two more times around. And Richie Evans trying to solidify his hold on first place. Looking for his second feature win of the season here at Oswego. Brian Ross hangs right there second. Greg Sachs running third. 
Brett Bonine, his fourth. There's your leader on the white flag lap, Richie Evans, out in front of Brian Ross. Greg Sachs all alone, third, Brett Bodine all alone, fourth, a battle for fifth with Jamie Tomato and Reggie Ruggiero. Hello, flag, Brian Ross. Richie Evans with the win. Brian Ross finishing second. Greg Sachs was third. Brett Bodine fourth. Jamie Tomato fifth. Reggie Ruggiero sixth. Here he is, the winner. How about a nice hand for Richie Evans? And Richie Evans down the front straightaway waving the checkered flag. He picked up win number 26 last night at Spencer. Richie Evans getting the job done in the modified sportsman half of the twin bill. And if we're lucky, maybe we can catch uh, Richie since the fans have stopped him right here. Get another quick word with Richie Evans. And uh, Richie, uh, I guess the next time we get to see you here at Oswego at any rate, even though I'll be following the circuit, is the uh, Budweiser Modified 200 here at the Speedway Labor Day weekend. Yeah, that point fund is going to tease me back again, right? <laughs> well, I think there's more than just a point fund come Labor Day weekend. A lot of prestige and uh, a very solid purse. Yeah, really. Uh, we're really glad that they uh, put that 10000 up there and all that contingency money. And uh, it'll help us get through the winter if we, you know, if we can keep running in it, right? So uh, I'm glad that, you know, the Carusos and O'Brien and all the staff here have done a good job, really. Well, again, our thanks and congratulations on your big victory tonight. We look forward to your visit on Liberty Weekend. Thank you. Richie Evans, ladies and gentlemen, the hot shoe in the modified sportsman circuit in 1983.